Okay then guys, how's it going? It is JT Judgment here and the time has finally, finally come guys. Season 5 is up and running and I'm just about to log in for the very first time. I wanted to try and set this up so that the very first thing that you guys see would be the brand new main menu screen. But I'm trying to log into Bluestacks guys and it's not letting me go to the menu without actually signing in. And then backing out, which is I'm assuming I'm, I'm, I'm assuming is the only way I'm going to be able to do it. But I want to keep this video, guys, upfront and real. I haven't logged in, guys. I mean, I live in the UK, so the servers went down for maintenance at five o'clock yesterday. That's five p.m. It got to the point, guys. Fast forward a couple of hours. I think it was about half past nine, quarter to ten. I couldn't keep my eyes open, guys. I had to call it a night. I had to go to bed. I was up at 5 o'clock yesterday morning to be in work. And, you know, so I was up for a very, very long time. So I was I was so tired. I decided to call it quits. And obviously, we're here now. Thursday afternoon. Season 5 is here. I'm about to log in, guys, for the very first time. I am so, so excited to jump in to see what's new. I'm hoping for, you know, a slight refresh in design of the menus. I'm not ex expecting a full redesign like what we had going from Season 2 to Season 3. Anything drastic like that. I'm just hoping to see just a bit of a refresh in design. You know, give us something new going, in, uh, going into, you know, a brand new season that we're going to have for a full year. You know, guys, rather than have the exact same thing that we've had throughout the entirety of season four pretty much you know so i've set everything up guys as you can see we're ready to log in <sighs> come on boys let's do it oh i mean i'm gonna do it now most of you have probably logged in and claimed your freebies by now but yeah for me anyway it's gonna be a first time thing so let's jump in oh guys yes josh let's log me in let's see what we have got jumping into season five for the first time we're preparing the ring oh Look at that. And we get three three reveals here, guys. Dean Ambrose Gothic, The Rock, Shattered, and Bailey in Neon, which, for whatever reason, the guys at Supercard have decided to put a silver star on that. <laughs> Is that a sign that I play too much that that actually triggers me slightly? Guys, what are you doing? It's got to be it's got to be proed properly, okay? If you're going to do things right, you've got to prove them properly. <laughs> but needless to say, this is sick. Welcome to WWE Supercard Season 5. I don't know about you guys, it may not be the same for each of you watching this video, but for me, this is my fifth season. So I'm expecting to see some decent rewards when I when I log in. So let's click, let's receiving the pack data. Season 1, there it is guys. As you can see, Season 1 Participant. I've been your... I want to say since the first week of Supercard. I, I, I don't know how to check the exact date that I started playing. But I know I was here for season one. So let's jump in, guys. Boom. There it is. Oh, the nostalgia for seeing that design. Oh, looks so nice. Let's jump into another one. Whoa, what's going on here? Hardens are now green. That looks weird. <laughs> that looks that looks so weird. I don't know what this purple card is on the bottom. I'm assuming these two greens to come are also hardens. Let's jump in. We get Bailey. Okay, so purples are now elite. Okay, I I, I can get used to that. Hardens, and I'm expecting this to be another card back. Oh, it's the credits. Okay, 750 credits, putting me up to just over 2,000. Hardened again, Sasha Banks, Alexa Bliss. I don't know what this is, and I don't know what this is on the bottom. Maybe this is Ultimate to come next? Ultimate. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, that looks sweet. What they've done with the Ultimate design. I don't know if it's just me, guys, but I think that looks absolutely fantastic. So what do we get for this is the Hardened. So... I don't know what this is, guys, but seeing as I'm a Season 1 player, isn't it a Shattered Enhancement and a Shattered Support I get? Did I read that right? I don't know. But let's jump in. I mean, best of the best situation would be a two-stat manager, right? So if this is a support in Shattered tier, 
I bet, I, you know, a two stat manager is what I want to see. So let's see what we get. Wow. <laughs> Look at that design. That looks absolutely insane. I mean, I get a manager. It's not exactly two stat, but jeez. Page just making it look so much better, but Jesus, wow. I'm loving that design. We get a shattered... What, what even is that? General Manager of SmackDown Live. A brand new support added to the game that adds 11,060 toughness to deck. Wow. That's just, that's just insane. <laughs> that is insane. Let's go through the rest now. So obviously this to come is the enhancement, which I'm not really too bothered with. But oh my, wow. It's an enhancement. I know that, but my god, these designs are insane. That is fantastic. And we get an absolute just plethora of hardened cards. With one ultimate. And that's it. <laughs> just hardens with one ultimate. But look at this design. I'm loving this. Guys over at Catadi slash 2K Games. I tip my hat to you guys. That design is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And the same goes with the, 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 the enhancement as well. Absolutely insane. So let's continue on, guys, and let's see, or at least in my case, for the first time, let's see what has changed with the menus and the whole design of the game. Let's press done. Season 5's Road to Glory, the first Road to Glory, finishes with a regular Shattered card featuring Hansen. Special event cards will begin next week with another Road to Glory and Heroic Mode. I was hoping Heroic Mode would be gone, at least for the, for the start <laughs> of season five. Oh, guys but i guess we're just jumping straight in pretty much with the heroic mode okay so, oh oh okay this looks sick <laughs> look at this guys i'm, I'm expecting yeah it's another scrolling animation what is this throwback pack is on sale oh my god i'm i'm having i'm just i'm just all over the place right now I mean, this this video in itself is probably just going to be like a, like a first impressions video, but I do have a lot of things planned, guys, so please stay tuned to the channel for quite a few videos to come. But I'm just take, trying to take all this in at once, guys. This new redesign looks absolutely fantastic, and look at Road to Glory. The animations are sick. All right, guys, so, so far, so good. I don't know about you, but first impressions for me personally absolutely fantastic we've got rtg <laughs> we <laughs> trust them to bring new day on the unicorn back that is, oh, i'm just loving this i mean i'm i'm just loving it let's have a look at the my catalog style oh. wow okay so how exactly does this work it looks as though i mean if i click on a card obviously bret hart i've got a season one image for so it looks as though I'm going to need to back out to the menu and re-download the Season 1 DLC because it's the same with Rey Mysterio. I've got his Season 1 Survivor image on this card right now and obviously you can't see it. So it looks as though I'm going to have to menu out, download some DLC. I'm going to get that done right now, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we're on the menu. Uh, as you can see on the bottom screen, downloading DLC is just about done. DLC has been downloaded, and this is the menu screen. You know, we swift back and forth, fade back into, you know, between the male and female side of things. I don't know about you guys, but my first impressions of this game in general right now is absolutely fantastic, and it's asking me to log into Facebook again, guys. Give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay, so that is the information put in. I'm hoping now I can log in and all the, the, you know, the DLC images are there ready to be used. And also, I'm pretty sure I can remember seeing that there was a slight visual glitch with the card backs. So obviously in this video, at the start of this video, you saw that I got the Season 1 card back, which I'm definitely going to be rocking for the foreseeable future. If I go into the game now, I should have all of them. So I, how do I do that? Is it a simple, you know, mailbox situation again? Let me just double check that the DLC has loaded. So there we are, guys. As you can see, 
Breath the Hitman Heart is back up and running as well as the high flying man himself, Mr. Ray Mysterio. So if I go over to play, bear with me, guys. This is just a video of me, you know, showing my first impressions and what have you, getting a you know a general idea on the menus, how things work, where everything is, and just basically just my my first impressions. You know, let me know who are, you know what sort of impressions you had from this. Um, do you like the introduction of Season 5? Do you like what they've done? Let me know what sort of cards you've gotten as well. I'll have videos coming up pretty soon as well, showing my freebie. May or do may do some packs as well, guys. So exciting times ahead. So if you are excited for those and you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and we've got some more content. That is for damn sure coming very soon on the brand new Season 5. So if I go over... Oh, I've got a ladder reward as well waiting for me. I did not know that. I genuinely... Oh, it's not a ladder reward. That's why. <laughs> That's why. It's an achievement for... I don't know what for. Probably reaching a certain tier, right? Yeah, so get medieval. Reached gothic. So I'm in gothic tier. The question is, which gothic? Is it regular gothic? Gothic plus? Or gothic plus plus? I don't know. I have clicked claim. I don't know that. There we are. 450 credits. So these are definitely going to probably be going towards Road to Glory, maybe? Or some packs. I don't know. I'm still undecided on exactly what I'm going to do because I've still got such a lot of stuff waiting to be, you know, to be discovered. So let's go to my mailbox, guys. Let's see... Uh, okay, I I've, I've haven't got any rewards, but I have got mail. Shout out to each and every one of you guys. Look, I'm getting constant messages saying you guys are loving the content. A massive shout out to each and every one of you that is taking the time to send these messages through. And basically, guys, I'm just glad you guys are enjoying the content, you know? So let's go ahead. How do I go to... Oh, right, it's card backs. Okay, so if I scroll all the way across, I should have season one through four, right? Aha, there we go. Season one. Se season two. I did click on it then. Season three. And the recently retired season four. But we got to go OG, guys. Supercard season one. That brings back so many memories, man. That design makes me think of season one. And it brings back all the memories of playing PCC. Road to Glory. Oh, man. Those were the days. Those were... The days let me know how you got on with your rewards and let me know if you as well played during season one of supercard that'll be awesome to see so i guess one of the biggest additions of season five i guess is the fusion chamber you know let's go in and see exactly how it works okay so hardened why is this got an exclamation mark next to it i'm confused why is this hardened got an exclamation mark it's the same as legacy down the bottom why is the first one got an exclamation uh, uh, i'll try it again exclamation mark next to it i'm confused so i can put anything in this it looks like it so legacy now so i can continue to do these yeah it looks as though i can because ever since I'm not, I'm not lying to you guys. I've been trying to get this Sami Zayn ever since the Halloween Fusion special event started. I must have done about 30 Fusions and I am yet to get this Sami Zayn image. My luck in getting him has been absolute trash. So, fingers crossed, I can get him soon. Although, to be perfectly honest, it doesn't really matter now because I've got the unlimited time to do it. I can just go through these while i'm going through one of these as well but i don't need to start a harden because i've got like 15 wrestlemania 34s start uh, saved up so i can just make my way on to the goliaths very very soon so let's go and claim to go ahead and claim this uh ticket right here as you can see i've got 600 tickets saved up what is okay <laughs> one superstar Titan to Shattered. How many tiers is that? Titan, WrestleMania 34, Goliath, SummerSlam 18, Shattered. That's not too bad. That's five tiers. That's pretty much the same as the, 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 the packs. 
that that require credits i think so that's not too bad it's probably though seeing as it's free packs pretty much the odds of getting something decent are absolute trash remember when i did that 1000 ticket pack opening guys yeah i just want to forget about that and move on with my life <laughs> so there's the fusion chamber guys i'm glad to be able to see that i can do season season two fusions again we've obviously got the the rest of the pay-per-views and what have you is king of the ring the same it looks as though it's the same <sighs> i'm still in SummerSlam 18 which is crazy hopefully i was i was hoping to be in at least gothic but no the game decides to keep me in SummerSlam 18 i'm probably not going to do many king of the rings guys because i just don't like this layout of king of the ring let's go into the store guys and let's see what this exclamation mark is by the store oh yeah it's free pack isn't it yeah so male neon let's collect this free pack and get it out of the way male neon is the pack to go for right now guys uh we got a wrestlemania 33 randy orton which coincidentally is actually the best thing i've gotten out of this free pack for probably about seven or eight months um male neon we get ourselves one male neon to shattered one support neon to shattered one enhancement neon to shattered two superstars wrestlemania 34 to gothic it's exactly what i was expecting from this pack showing off the rey mysterio there as well we get a female goth oh my days becky looks fantastic in that card wow um and then we got one female gothic to neon is that oscar in the background it does look like it one support gothic to neon one enhancement gothic to neon two superstar titan to SummerSlam 18 oh, i can't get over that becky image man she looks stunning um <laughs> and then we got male gothic showing off the titan uh, oh titan what am i talking about neon jeff hardy which looks sick one male gothic to neon one support gothic to neon you guys can read that for yourself so those are the brand new packs guys i'm not gonna lie this male neon is going to be the pack i go for i think when i do my pack opening i don't know exactly how many credits i'm going to be spending as of right now but if i want to be able to go for the event cards it's probably going to be a lot you know and seeing as next week is road to glory that means i've got more time to get myself up to shatter tier in ring domination to be able to play for pros uh pro event cards as well and then obviously it depends on who the event card is which will make me want to play for you know the cards that much more if it's steve austin then guaranteed i'm going for the pro full heroic but uh yeah we'll have to wait and see hall of fame is exactly the same unfortunately we only get two cards per pack which is a real shame i was hoping they would add more cards to the hall of fames and the throwbacks yeah one hall of fame uh one throwback and two throwbacks for the hall of fames uh, for the throwbacks there i'm all over the place guys i'm so hyped and excited i'm mixing everything up but it looks as though the packs are pretty much identical just add in the brand new tiers that were added for season five you know so let's go over let's go to pvp guys because i want to check out what exactly the rewards are for pvp okay so we've got a gothic card in buddy murphy whose image does look pretty sweet to be honest only four thousand wow i genuinely did not expect a gothic card to be that little uh, amount of points but we scroll down and we oh, wow okay we don't get a card back usually when there's a new cycle of rewards in the cp store we get a card back but this week we don't although they did give out card backs for however long you've played the game so i guess that is the sort of reward this week i guess so that we've got those actually i forgot to check the one reward that i wanted to check the cp store what sort of rewards will we get out of a 2000 one superstar goliath to shattered four superstars goliath to neon and it's still 2000 which is uh, which is something that i'm glad to see all right so as you can see we've got 26,000 cp saved up guys so we've got a lot of packs to go through there and then we go over to what was the other the other free pack team battleground i'm hoping and praying they do something for team battleground because for the longest time my battle points are just just wasted you know i'm just saving them up and up and up and up and up and i've got nothing to save them on 
uh, or spend them on i should say so let's go over to team battleground as you can see we have started one i don't know what we are though are we in goliath uh not goliath gothic uh yes as you can see on the top here current team level where is it where's the current team level if i go to deck Okay, so we're three quarters of the way through Gothic. And oh, Big Jim. Big Jim's managed to get himself a neon card. That is insane. Looking at some of the... I hope the guys don't mind me doing this. Okay, so Big Jim managed to get himself a toughness and charisma manager. That is absolutely insane. Uh, Buck has managed to get himself a sensational sherry, toughness and speed. Looks like my teammates, fellow TL, team BLD members, have uh, you know got some 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 some. some de oh, I can't speak. I cannot speak today, guys. Managed to get some them. Oh my god! Managed to get themselves some decent managers here, guys. As you can see, most of us get in managers, which is insane. It's going to help us uh, so much in the long run. Somebody's got a, a neon. Power and toughness to deck, Mr. Mr. Paul Heyman. Uh, Zim, what the hell is this? Road case. Power and toughness to opponent. That is a brand new uh, support added to the game, which is pretty sweet. Uh, let's scroll down. Uh, we got a Maurice. What is that? Still charisma? She is still... Wow. Maurice looking fine in that image. Damn. <laughs> a thousand or eleven thousand charisma to deck my god guys these supports are absolutely insane let's go ahead and jump in let's see what they what am i what am i doing i don't want to do this yet i didn't click this i'm using an apple mouse and it clicks things that i don't want to click on okay so we get a throwback razor ramon bear with me guys while i go through this i didn't click on this so let's go back out let's click on that let's go to rewards let's go over to the battle point store okay things just got very interesting they have put neon as well as gothic in the team battle point store and i have got 134,000 packs Oh, wow. No, points. <laughs> 134,000 points. My God, I wish it was 134,000 packs. 134,000 points to spend, and I've got 20,000 points per pack or per superstar. This makes things very interesting. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to make this the video for today. My first impressions and just going through the things in the store navigating the menus taking a first look at you know the, the game pretty much and then going forward from today i'll make more videos very soon we'll do cp pack opening we'll do uh, an actual credit pack opening we'll do some team battle point, uh, team battle point packs as well let's actually take a look at uh, road to glory let's have a look at what the very first road to glory in season five does offer we get a SummerSlam 17 pete dunn tomaso champa roderick strong adam cole kylo riley nick miller bobby fish R i don't even know who that is is it rao ro i apologize there guys monster is uh i can't speak today guys neon is ricochet and then the shattered card is hansen okay guys so i guess the question is this this rtg is not going to have a heroic right i mean it makes no sense whatsoever to make this rtg heroic i don't know if you guys are actually crazy enough to play through this event in three days and then play through heroic as well because i know most if not everybody is going to have to plus two a lot of this card let me know in the comment section if this run through of rtg does have heroic because as you can see, the points are lower than what the heroic lineup does require. So if you guys can let me know in the comment section, guys, that will be absolutely awesome. I think that's everything that I want to go through for the first video. Money in the bank is exactly the same. I think the rewards haven't changed. I've slowly been making my way up towards 
getting myself some of these cards but obviously seven days is nowhere near enough time to get up to the amount that i need for a pro so yeah guys i mean i'm gonna have to shift if i want to get myself into a position where i can play for event cards you know so that guys is gonna wrap up this video exciting times to come guys with cp points 26,000 cp packs um, or CP points to be spent on packs, 134,000 battle points to be spent. I'm going to load up a bunch of credits as well, guys. Exactly how much, I don't know at this moment in time. But stay tuned to the channel, guys. Look forward to those videos and time will tell exactly how much packs I open, guys. But that's my first impressions, guys. It's going to be a bit of a longer video for you guys today to start things off for Season 5. Let me know how you guys are getting on in your first impressions and what you guys plan on doing in this week's Road to Glory. Whoa, guys. Whoa, whoa. Before you go anywhere, there is something that I completely forgot to record for this video. I literally recorded the main video five minutes ago, stopped recording, and then I realized I didn't record one of the most exciting times in Supercard, and that is pulling our freebies. Obviously, we've had new tiers introduced, I'm in gothic tier, so why not? I mean, I am in gothic tier, right? Bear with me, guys. Um, I think I'm in gothic. Uh, how do I check? <laughs> how do I check my tier? Ah, oh, there it is, on the bottom. Top eight cards, I'm in gothic plus. So I am in the situation where I can pull myself a gothic card. I mean, I do plan on buying packs, obviously, to push myself up to shattered in at least ring domination to get myself you know, the brand new Shattered Event cards. So why not pull my freebies off the board as I go? I mean, I don't want to push myself up to Shattered and then not be able to claim my Gothic and Neon freebies. So as I'm going, just makes sense to do it. You know, I don't know why I completely forgot about pulling, pulling my Gothic freebie. So I'm going to try and remember, guys, to do my Neon one as well. Obviously, going forward, I'm going to be opening packs, whether it be CP credits or, t or Team Battleground points. I'm just hoping I don't completely forget about my Neon freebie. Push myself up to Shattered, and then because it's based on your top eight, find that I can't pull my Neon freebie because I can't push myself down to, 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 to Neon to be, able to, to be able to pull it. So I need to remember... To pull it before I reach shattered. So let's go ahead, play some. Uh, oh, there is a. Oh, I thought that was neon. <laughs> the purple and the blue on the elite there just made me think it was it was uh, a neon card. As you can see, it's kind of easy to to to. No, it's not. What am I talking about? It looks absolutely nothing like a neon card. <laughs> at, for, at a quick glance, it did it did look like a uh, a brand new neon card there. So let's take a look, guys. Let's see what sort of board I'm looking at to be able to claim my Gothic freebie. It's kind of a full board. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I dream a dream of one day having, like, one card on the board for me able to pull my freebie. So this is going to be my Gothic freebie, guys. Let me know who you got in the comment section down below. Preference-wise, I mean, somebody... Like, Undertaker would always be nice. I mean, a female that I know, Ronda Rousey for the image. Um, I don't know. I don't think there's anybody really off the top of my head that I would like to get. I tell you what I forgot to do for this video as well, guys, is to go through the catalog and see what sort of superstars we are, you know, we're going to be getting for the three tiers. Whether or not I'll do that now, I don't know. This video is going to be all over the place, guys. Apologies for that. But let's jump in. Let's see how long it takes to get my gothic freebie. Let's go. Okay. Oh, my God. This is going to be weird. Pulling Hardens, Elites off the board constantly. Elite, Enhancement, John Cena, Elite, Hardened, uh, Ladder. This is going to be weird. And an Elite, Shinsuke Nakamura. It is unbelievably weird, guys, getting Elites and hardens off the board without the board resetting just weird <laughs> that's all i could say just weird okay guys so i've skipped to the end of this match i don't want to bore you guys with the gameplay you guys know what gameplay looks like you know what how war works you are here 
just for the exact same reason I'm here, and that is to see what our freebie is. So let's jump straight in. Oh, here it is, guys. Who do we get? Carl Anderson. I'm pretty sure he was my freebie in a tier a couple of times back. I'm not sure. But that image, guys, not gonna lie. Sweet. That's pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie. So we get a gothic freebie in Carl Anderson. That design, guys, it just looks, it looks sick. It does look absolutely fantastic. I can only see it growing on me in time so my gothic freebie guys was carl anderson let me know who yours was in the comment section down below and before i get to the actual ending of this video i just want to take a quick look at the catalog because i uh, the question is how do i get to the damn catalog deck editor no filters good god there's a lot of filters that's not what I want. How do I get to the actual catalogue? Do I have to click on the stars? Hang on, bear with me. Alright, here we go. So, let's take a brief look, guys, at what sort of superstars we have got in Gothic, Neon, and Shattered. And then that is going to be the, the, the proper end to this video, guys. This is, this is going to be one long video for you guys to start Season 5 off. So I hope you guys are okay with it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Nonetheless, I've been a little bit all over the place as of right now. But we get AJ, obviously. Let's see if we've got some surprises. Batista is in Gothic tier, which is pretty sweet. Bobby Lashley, Braun Strowman, Brock Lesnar, Cesaro. Constable Baron Corbin is now is the name that he's going by, which is going to be interesting. Because... We're probably, unless they've changed Constable Baron Corbin on every Baron Corbin card, we're not going to be able to use his past images. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, Ember Moon, Finn Balor, the obvious ones, and then obviously Carl Anderson we can see there because we just pulled him off the board. Kevin Owens, Connor, Lars, Lars Sullivan. Mank, oh wait, yeah. No, Mankind was revealed, didn't he, obviously. Uh, Page, uh, Peyton Royce, Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio, Roman Reigns. Rusev, pretty much the standard ones, guys. Shawn Michaels, okay, there's a name here that I was hoping to see. <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin is not a part of Gothic tier, but that's okay because I'm pretty sure he is involved later on. Sting, which is another one that I completely forgot that was that was announced pre-patch. Uh, I say pre-patch, pre-update release. Triple H, Undertaker, uh, and Woken Matt Hardy as well. So I've gone the wrong way. Let's make our way over to Neon. Adam Cole making a return. Alexa Bliss, Asuka, Bailey, Biggie, Bo Dallas. I'm liking this layout, guys. Rather than having like 20 on one page and then going to another page for another 20, we can just scroll down and see all of them, which is sweet. Breath the Hitman Heart. Nice to see a legend back in the game for a tier. We got Daniel Bryan, Dean Ambrose. Ah, oh, there he is, guys. Just I'm someone I'm opening and praying is my freebie. Eddie Guerrero is back. So hyped for that alone, guys. So hyped to have Eddie back in a tier. Goldust, Finn Balor, uh, Jeff Hardy, The Usos, John Cena. Macho Man Randy Savage was another one that was released as well. Uh, Ric Flair was another one released. Roman Reigns, Rusev, Samoa Joe, Shinsuke Nakamura. Sting is also in Neon. And I'm pretty sure, guys, I've seen an image of Sting in neon tier but he was in the surfer sting gimmick am i not mistaken if i'm not mistaken so it'd be pretty sweet to have another surfer sting image in the game as well we get the legend the rock as well as another legend in ultimate warrior and then finishing things off with zack Ryder. but then we move on to the big boy the big tier shattered tier adam cole aj styles the usuals returning back bobby lashley bobby rude Braun Strowman, Brie Bella, interestingly enough, making a return to the tier. What is also going to be interesting is whether or not she is actually good in the tier. Remember when Titan tier just randomly made her the worst? I don't know how that happened or what decision was made, but uh, yeah, that was a thing. 
Uh, Chad Gable, Charlotte Flair, an image that I really want to get. That Charlotte image just looks fine as hell. Dean Ambrose, uh, Drew Gulak. Okay, so <laughs> Eddie's in neon, but he's not in shattered. Okay, slight disappointment, but I'll move on. Uh, Hanson, Jeff Hardy, The Usos, John Cena, Johnny Gargano, Kevin Owens, the usuals that we like to see. Paige, Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio, Rowan, Ronda Rousey, the usual ones. Now I'm going to scroll down here, guys, and I'm hoping to see a certain Stone Cold Steve Austin pop up. Sheamus, Shinsuke Nakamura, let's see. There he is, guys. That's put a smile on my face. That's what I wanted to see. The legend himself, Mr. Steve Austin, is back. Rock, Trent Seven, Triple H, Undertaker is back in shattered tier. So many legends, guys. This is what I wanted to see. I'm Overall, guys, I'm happy. There's legends included in this with, uh, you know, um, a plethora of current superstars as well. The two superstars that I wanted to see included somewhere in this update. Steve Austin and Eddie are also included. So... You know, color me, color me happy. I'm, 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 I'm happy, guys. This overall impression of season five so far, guys, is just a big old thumbs up from me. So this, guys, is going to be the actual end of the video. Like I said earlier, guys, if you did enjoy, smash the like button and subscribe for more content to come very soon. But most importantly, please take care, and I will see you all next time. Ta-da, guys.